Hi everybody, in this quick tutorial I'll be showing you how to export a lower third in After Effects so that when you drop it into your editing software such as Adobe Premiere you don't have to play around with the screen transfer mode that being multiply, overlay, screen etc. It's already done for you, you just drop it in on your timeline and away you go. This lower third is one I downloaded from uh, Video Hive it was a project on there that I purchased and this particular lower third is what we use for Tech Talk. So if we go ahead and go to Add to Render Queue, I've already set this this lower third preset up and we'll click on it. Go into the dialog box. I set it up to be QuickTime and then this is the important part. I set it to RGB and Alpha so not only will it uh, capture the color information but also the alpha channel which is this section and this basically will tell the file that when this is dropped into my editing software to ignore that space and just concentrate on this so when you drop it in on your timeline any footage you have will be displayed here and then this lower third animation will be there so you don't have to mask around it or play with the screen transfer modes in the color settings I set mine to pre-multiplied matted uh, th the difference is with straight or unmatted channels the transparency information is stored only in the alpha channel not in any of the visible color channels with the straight channels the results of transparency aren't visible until the image is displayed in an application that, su that supports straight channels with pre-multiplied or matted channels transparency information is stored in the alpha channel and also in the visible RGB channels uh, which are multiplied with a background color. Uh, Pre-multiplied channels are sometimes said to be matted with color. Uh, these colors are semi-transparent transparent areas such as feathered edges of masks etc and are shifted towards the background color in proportion to the degree of transparency. So there you go, that's the difference for them. I choose pre-multiplied and then I click OK and then when you hit render you have a lower third that is just ready to be dropped into your timeline. There you go folks. Uh, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and uh, see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching.